It happened to just about anybody. A woman in North Dakota was looking for a relationship. Instead, she says a thief stole her retirement savings, her 401k, and $24,000 of her insurance policy. Nye Remy talked to the woman to find out how it happened. They're called romance scams. According to the FBI, there was a little bit more than 19,000 victims reporting this scam with $739 million lost in the United States. And this was just in last year's statistics alone. Now, a Bismarck woman reached out to me wanting to share her story, but she does want to stay anonymous due to her experience. But I do want to let you know, she wasn't just scammed once, but a total of three times. And then he said, you know what would really be nice? And I said, no, what? He said, if you could get me a $200 gift card. And I said, well, you know, money's kind of tight, but I got him a $200 gift card. This is Plenty of Fish website. And she tells me that after her husband died, after 20 years of being together, she got lonely and decided to try this website out. And not too long after that, she got a response. We're here to help you create the same magic online that you would in real life, is what Plenty of Fish accommodating website has listed on its homepage prior to creating an account. And she says this is where it all started. This attractive man came up and um, introduced himself, said that he was a godly man, he was hunting for a woman. In her words, he was perfect, said all the right things, and it was all at the right time. What do you think opened, like, opened that door for you to feel comfortable to even send him the first $200 gift card? Because he confessed that he loved me and he wanted to come to the United States and be with me, and I was extremely lonely. And that's how he got me. She says he said things she hadn't heard before or in a long time, creating that strong desire for affection. I gave him my banking information, my social security number. I literally had to change banks. I had to get a new social security number. Everything. I don't even use my legal name anymore because of the fact of that. Why did you give him your social? I know, I know the reason behind the bank well, information. Well, he said that he needed that for his insurance policy in case anything happened to him. Mm -hmm. I was going to be a beneficiary. Mm -hmm. I mean, we just don't think of the little things that they con us into doing. I mean, to me, it sounded legit, you know. If, they, if you need an insurance policy and you want to name a beneficiary, they're going to ask for a social security number. After this initial incident, the woman was scammed an additional two more times before she deactivated her online dating account. So. I had to ask. Being that you had the first experience, what do you think allowed you to still experience that time and time? I was hoping that maybe the next person wasn't a scammer. You're not thinking clearly because you're still, you know, lonely. I mean, it's not fun being lonely. I spoke with Perel Grossman from the North Dakota Consumer Protection Division, who says this can happen to almost anyone. Who do you think are the people that are getting scammed the most? You think vulnerable, um, maybe insecure, maybe just what what have you seen in common with all of these victims? You know that all for it. That's a great question, but honestly, victims are across the board from young to old, from teenagers to the elderly. Teenagers maybe not as much because they don't really have the financial sources and so the scam artists and con artists don't want to waste as much time with them. But by and large, it is people with, with significant funds that are being victimized and it's often the elderly because they know uh, the elderly have uh, retirement accounts and they know maybe their homes are paid for and they have substantial bank accounts of savings and checking accounts. Trust your intuition. So many times consumers after the fact and say, I knew something was wrong, I just wasn't sure and I followed through and I sent the, the money and I lost it all. Trust your intuition. The Bismarck resident also says the reason behind her constantly sending funds is due to the negative response she would receive when she didn't. They would call her names and just overall make her feel unwanted and left verbally abused. She says she's now searching for love in the right way and has since then joined a support group. For KX News, Nai Remy. If you think you have been a victim of a scam or want to report a possible crime, you can get in co contact with the Attorney General's Consumer Protection Division. The number is 701-328-3404, and they say you don't have to be embarrassed. They just want good information. They want to stop whoever is doing it.